Hello and good morning everyone. Happy Taco Tuesday. My name is Katie. I'm an educator here at the Stone Zoo and today we are going to be checking in with our sloth family, little baby Taco included. And today's Zoo to You is brought to you by NIFA on behalf of the U-Fund College Investing Plan. So if you have any questions about the sloths during our video today, please feel free to ask them in the comment section and we will do our very best to answer them for you. So we have three sloths here at the Stone Zoo. Oh, it looks like Lunesta woke up. This right here is Lunesta. She is our female sloth and she is 17 years old. And to her right is Nero. He's our male. He is 16. He is happily chomping away at some sweet potato. And with them, they also have our newest sloth arrival, um, Taco. Taco was born at the end of July last year, and she is their fifth baby that they've had together. So usually when Taco hears mom and dad chewing and munching on some sweet potato, she wakes up. So we'll see if she wakes up and makes an appearance on video for us today. But we're gonna talk a little bit about how our sloths came to live here at Stone Zoo and what their daily care looks like here at the zoo. So sloths living here at Stone Zoo and Franklin Park Zoo are part of something called a species survival plan. We usually call it SSP for short. And these plans are managed by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, um, which is a third party organization that we are accredited by. And the purpose of these SSPs is to carefully track animal genetics and ensure you know healthy populations here in zoos um, all across the country. So these animals you know are really ambassadors for their counterparts living out in nature. So an SSP we can kind of think of it a little bit like a dating service here in zoos. So we will look at the animals genetics, their personality, their ages and make different matches based off of those factors. So Nero and Lunesta were paired together and they both came to us from different zoos. So Nero, good morning Nero. Nero is from the Tulsa Zoo in Oklahoma and Lunesta is from the Montreal Biodome. So she is our French Canadian sloth. He's kind of like our cowboy sloth. They were paired together through that SSP and they have now had five babies together. So Taco is baby number five. Uh, their firstborn, his name is Mojo, and Mojo lives at the Alexandria Zoo down in Louisiana. Second born is Maxine. Maxine actually lives on exhibit in the Tropical Forest Building at Franklin Park Zoo. Third was Molasses. Molasses is an ambassador animal. So he lives behind the scenes at Franklin Park Zoo with the education staff. Fourth born was Siesta. Siesta actually lives a few exhibits down here at Stone Zoo. And then we have Taco. Um, so Taco will be turning one at the end of July this year. Um, so we'll see if Taco wakes up. Sometimes it takes a little bit for, for her to kind of realize what's going on and for her to want some of the food that mom and dad have too. So seeing a pairing like this of two sloths living together is not something that you'll typically see out in nature. For the most part, sloths are solitary. Um, so maybe you'll see mom and baby together for a while. Usually when baby is around six months to a year old, they'll be off on their own. However, Nero and Lunesta get along really well together. So they are able to stay together in this exhibit. Um, so that's why we have two in here. They just get along really well just based off of their personalities. Lunesta is not to anthropomorphize, but usually a little bossier of the two. She can be seen taking food out of Nero's mouth 
out of Taco's mouth, to kind of push them out of the way to get the really good spot. Nero is our classic, typical sloth. He's really laid back and easygoing, so these two do get along really, really well. And observing and caring for the sloths here at the zoo do help inform us with their conservation efforts out in nature. And monitoring animal behavior is something that is really important here in zoos. Um, a really great example of that is Nero's story. Nero has a really special story um, with his health care. So when Nero first came to the Stone Zoo, after he spent some time settling in, our zookeepers actually noticed some abnormal behavior for a sloth. He was super lethargic. So for sloths, that's really saying something. They can sleep 16 to 18 hours a day. He had lost a lot of interest in food. And when he was weighed, he had lost a pretty significant amount of weight in a really short amount of time. And that's why it's really important that we have staff here monitoring daily changes in animal behavior so we can notice these changes. So that's when our zoo vets and vet techs got involved and a blood sample was taken from Nero and he was actually diagnosed with leukemia, which is a form of blood cancer um, that had not been observed in sloths before. So this was a whole new territory for us. So Nero actually went through six months of chemotherapy here at the zoo, um, and he got that in the form of a pill, and that was usually tucked into one of his favorite food items, which is a hard-boiled egg. Um, so after receiving that treatment, after a year, he was in remission, and he has been cancer-free ever since. So that goes to show you the really amazing veterinary care that animals receive in zoos and how important that is to their health and well-being. And it looks like we have possibly a taco sighting over here. So I'll see if I can offer taco some apple, but it looks like Nero is more interested in <laughs> being the star right now. So we'll give him a little bit of sweet potato. Maybe he knows I was just talking about him. <laughs> And you'll also notice that while I'm feeding the sloths, I am keeping my fingers nice and safe with these metal tongs. Sloths have super sharp teeth, so if you were able to get a glimpse of those on camera, they've got these really sharp teeth. They're actually all molars inside of their mouths, and they also have pretty poor eyesight. And my fingers can look a lot like sweet potato or apple slices, which are some of their favorite foods. So I'm just keeping my fingers nice and safe with these tongs so they are not mistaken for one of their favorite treats. And have we had any sloth questions come in? We have. Anne was wondering, what are the mom and dad's names and how old are the three of them? Mom's name is Lou Nesta. She is 17. Dad is Nero. He's 16. And Taco is nine months? Around nine months. Um, and how long have they been at the zoo? That's a good question. Um, Nero and Lou Nesta came to the zoo at different times, but I want to say over 10 years now would be my best guess. Um, how many hours a day do sloths sleep? Sloths will typically sleep around 16 to 18 hours a day, and they are primarily nocturnal. So we have the best chance of seeing them moving around at night. They do wake up during the day, especially when I have you know, some of their favorite parts of their diet with me. Usually I'll wake up for a snack too. Um, so they're the same way, but they are primarily nocturnal. And since we were talking about teeth, Julie was wondering how many teeth do they have? That's a good question. I don't know the answer to that with an exact number, but I can tell you they don't have a lot of teeth. Sloths don't have any teeth in the front of their mouths like we do, so they don't have any incisors or canine teeth in their mouths. Instead, they have this bony plate. Um, so that bony plate just kind of helps them pull leaves and things like that. And maybe, I don't know if we'll be able to see it on 
Lunesta, but you can see those super sharp teeth on the sides of her mouth. They look a little bit, she's of course covering it with her hand perfectly, um, they look a little bit like canine teeth, but they're modified molars. They're called premolars. And premolars are hollow, and they continuously grow throughout a sloth's lifetime. And that's really beneficial when you're eating a lot of plants and a lot of leaves. Sloths don't have to worry about their teeth getting worn down while they're eating all of those things. And that's something that a lot of herbivores have to deal with. So sloths are very lucky they do not have to deal with that. One other mission we had, Anne was wondering where are they located in the zoo? They are located in a section of the zoo called Windows to the Wild. Um, so if you've been to the Stone Zoo, it's the part of the zoo with lots of glass windows and exhibits. Um, they're located pretty much right across from where the Jaguar um, Seymour is. So right around there, and then Siesta lives a few exhibits down, actually sharing an exhibit with the cotton top tamarinds. And we've got one final question. Anne's got some really great questions this morning. How many times a day do they get fed? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so that can vary a little bit. Most of the time, their diet is going to be left with them in their exhibit at the end of the day. And that's since you know they are primarily nocturnal, they're going to be waking up and doing a lot of eating um, in the nighttime. So that way, we can just make sure that their food is nice and fresh for them and it's not being left out all day. We do come in here and feed them. Sometimes we'll feed just to get a good check on everybody, make sure everybody is alert and active. Um, and we also offer sloth tours on our website. You can book a sloth tour um, where we offer the opportunity for guests to come in and feed the sloths just like we're doing right now and get to see them up close. So with those tours, sometimes it can be a little bit more frequently. So we have some dates up on our website right now, actually. And we'll see, I see a lot of movement. We'll see if Taco is gonna maybe poke her little head out. You can see, this is taco fur right here. Taco's fur is a little bit shorter. Um, it's also a little bit more gray in coloration. Nero and Lunesta are, they're kind of blonde. Their fur is a really light color, so taco's short fur um, just sticks out a little bit. It becomes a little bit easier for us to see. Let's see if Lunesta wants any. Katie, what does sloth fur feel like? Oh, that's a good question. Sloth fur, it's a little coarse, but it's a little, it's a, a little softer than I imagined. Um, I like to compare sloth fur to German shepherd fur. It's around the same texture and length. Sloth fur is really cool. If you look at it under a microscope, um, sloth fur is actually shaped like a V under a microscope. And human hair is usually shaped, it's either circular or an oval shape. But sloth hair has this, um, this divot that runs all the way down the piece of hair. And that helps them trap water and grow algae. It's really beneficial for them. It's going to be a really great form of camouflage out in the rainforest. So a lot of times if you're watching a nature documentary, you might notice that a lot of sloths are kind of green in color, and that is the algae growing on their fur. Our sloths really don't get a lot of algae growing on them. It's pretty warm in here and dry. We do have a lot of misters set up to keep the humidity up, um, but they usually don't grow that algae. If they did, it's totally normal and natural, so we would just let them grow it because that is a normal occurrence for sloths. All right, well, I think we're just about out of time. I think Taco did not get the memo that we had a Zoo to You video today, so she slept in a little bit. But I want to thank all of you so much for watching and for your excellent questions. And today's, oh, of course, there she is right there. <laughs> we'll pause so we can all get a little taco sighting here for Taco Tuesday. Ooh, <laughs> So working with live animals is always unpredictable. So now we can see the whole family all together. Taco kind of moving all over Lunesta. Lunesta is a very patient mom with little baby Taco here. So we'll see if maybe Taco wants to come a little closer so we can get a good look at her. <laughs> 
She also might smell and think there are some scraps of food left over in mom's fur, so maybe she smells some of those and <laughs> wants a little snack too. <laughs> you can see Taco's actually a pretty good size and you normally, you normally cannot get a good grasp of how big she is when she's all curled into mom's belly. So mom does a really good job with some pretty <laughs> heavy cargo kind of tucked right into her belly here. So. Tago is a very independent young sloth and likes to be off on her own, exploring things on her own, maybe climbing on mom's head a little bit, maybe climbing on dad's head a little bit. I think we've got a little sloth stretch over here. <laughs> so wonderful. We had our taco sighting for Taco Tuesday. So again, thank you all so, so much for joining us today. Today's Zoo to You is brought to you by MIFA on behalf of the UFUN College Investing Plan. Bye.